Hey Cancer, it is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration here for your February 2019 monthly reading. This is for sun, moon, and rising. So if your sun sign doesn't quite, um, you know, if it doesn't resonate, check out your moon and your rising. I'll get the rest of the zodiac up today. Y'all, it's snowing today. At the recording of this video, it has snowed a full foot here, okay, overnight. So, you know understand your girl just had to go out there and clear some of that snow out um so if this is your first time here welcome thank you for showing up and if you are a returning frequent flyer thank you for coming back please consider liking subscribing and sharing and here we go cancer let me give us fellow cancers the overall energies as well okay so overall energy for the month of february this is going to be kind of interesting for us cancer um, we do have the five of wands, so I do see there being some conflict. I'm going to tell you something, Cancer. What I'm sensing for us is this, is a lot, we've had a lot of the, our ideas, our beliefs, our core beliefs, um, relationships, core relationships, all of this challenged, um, shaken. For me, 2018 wasn't a bad year. For others, I know that it was just, it was challenging. 2017, on the other hand, I could just erase right on out. But, um, but 20, I'm just kidding. But 2018, really things, the tide honestly turned for me. But I have noticed that of late, what's happening is that there are a lot of, again, core beliefs and ideas that I may have used to have held most of those are gone, but there's still some challenges there. Um, because I no longer believe the same way than family or friends or people that I just interact with, period, um, may not really be able to, like, get on board with it. So it is causing a little bit of conflict. Um, and honestly, our, intu our intuitive nature and our intuitive abilities are on about 20. They're not even on 10. They're not on 12 they own 20 and sometimes on 100 that can also cause conflict because we're just like look you know we're all about hearth home and taking care of that that small tight group that we have and when um we see you know some poison in the group we and then we warn that person like you're a little poisonous you're a little toxic for the group i'm gonna need you to like straighten that up a little bit um, in a loving way, we tell them, and once, twice, three strikes you out. And so um, when a cancer gets to that point where we're ready to cut you out, you out of here, partner. There's nothing to be said. Keep it moving. Keep it stepping. So I think that conflict is also us kind of weeding other people, undesirables, or should I say people that are not here for our purpose out. We also have the Knight of Crystals uh, in reverse, which is the Knight of Pentacles. Most of this, all of this is actually, I'm pulling them all as um, upright. So when they come up reversed from the star child here, then I definitely say it's reversed. Uh, that means we've been a little bit reckless by the mouth. We're not being our usual careful, tactful individuals. For whatever reason, in February and probably right about now, we just, you know, stuff just plops out of our mouth. It's been plopping out of mind, so I'm going to put that on everybody. Um, and then also the King of Swords. So Swords, good Lord, help me. Swords, we're living our truth. We're living it. We're speaking it. We're walking it. We're talking it. We're not having it. We're not. We're not. We're not. And also plenty of new with the Page of Cups. New, um, you know, I think there's some new love happening here. Or there's new ways for us to, we're having new em emotional I just feel like there's new love. There's new people. We're having fun. We're just, we're, that's what we're moving towards. And then Ace of Wands, I do see some serious passionate starts happening here along with the Four of Swords. Moving into a peaceful time for us. So I love that. Okay. So let's get into the, into the reading. First week, the Three of Wands. 
uh, in February. So uh, as we're coming into February, I hope that you are just as hopeful. You see that ship coming in on that horizon. We've been laying down a lot of foundation and we've been putting a lot of effort into things. Uh, with the Six of Cups, our relationships, family relationships, um, children, some of the past relationships as well, maybe re re reigniting some of those relationships as well. Um, so perhaps there's somebody that, you know, uh, we've been working with for quite some time that really now um, it's all coming together and uh, we can see it happening right before our eyes, which is awesome. Okay, uh, family is very important. So do make sure that you're taking care of family, even extended family. Reach out to those people, Cancer, that maybe you haven't had an opportunity to reach out to in a while. There, And during the first week, look out for a tower moment. Um, and probably in the realm of this relationship thing, in the family, close structure, someone, and I'm not saying that you are it, Cancer, but I just believe that we're going to be uh, instrumental in helping someone in our family, in our circle, through their tower moment. Okay, could be family, could be friends. All right. Second week, Akashic Records. If you guys have not typically gone back and accessed the Akashic Records, please do find someone to assist you. I do know Gabriel from Gabriel Inspires just put up an Akashic Record video meditation. Or if you would like to work with me on accessing your Akashic Records, go down into the description box below and uh, go to my website. And I would um, definitely count that as like energy work, okay? So um, just let me know that that's what you're looking for and we can work through something but uh, I don't typically say go back to your Akashic Records if that's not a trip you're used to taking at least not the first time uh, I just that's just me but there's something back in our past we need to understand and here's this page of cups you know what have fun I think that uh, in our past we've had a lot of you know we've, we've cut loose sometimes cancer we could be so darn serious we take things very literal because i know i'm sorry guys i got something like a something right on my eyelash um we are so um you know everything has got to, it needs a little bit of a structure even though we are um water signs like we like the house in a certain way and we like the life in a certain way and you know what i'm saying and so we forget to i think to have fun and just be fun and flirty with it um, also, in the past, we're going to see where we've been left out in the cold. Cancer, we might be feeling a little bit lonely lately. Um, because, you know, a lot of us have big life purposes. And it's hard to be the mama all the time, isn't it? But God's going to give us strength to get through it. You know, if you do take that journey back through your Akashic Records, really look for times where you were the only person that, um, like, you were the only one in the village that, like, um, knew something or had some sort of wisdom, and you were potentially, you know, kicked out of the village for it or worse, killed, right? Like, you weren't honored for it. Um, and that can leave us feeling left out in the cold and leave us feeling like we don't belong. Um, but understand that even if you don't, like, right now belong where you're at third dimensionally, going back and understanding that this is, this has just been your life journey, that we're, we've always been, like, the loners. We've always, you know, we've mothered everybody else, um, and we've always been seers for the most part, and we've always just, we've always known, right? But sometimes being the administrator of um, unconditional love to the village can be a very lonely thing and definitely the life of the seer and a lot of times the life of the healer is actually quite lonely as well third week nine of cups so we come through all of that um you know deep dive um coming into the full moon um february 19th the beginning of pisces season and really just um happy with who we are, where we are, where their life is going, just kind of like in balance, which I love. The high priestess, so our intuition, I, guess, I told y'all, 
that knowing that deep wisdom, those secrets, those beautiful spiritual secrets being revealed to us, let me tell you, on 20. And if you got somebody in your world that's trying to uh, run game on you, anybody, I will tell you right now, please, if you're cross-watching and you're dealing with a cancer and you're like, well, I'm going to hold this secret, I ain't going to tell the cancer, you bet. We already know. Because I'm going to tell you something. Don't tell us here and let us have to hear it from spirit. And what we already know anyway, and we're going to know you lying. One thing we can't handle is liars. Um, also, the four of crystals, you're going to, I believe that during that week, we're going to feel a, definitely a little bit more of being a recluse. Just kind of pulling back a little bit. And understand also, Cancer, do not, everything you know, you do not need to say immediately. You could keep some of this stuff to yourself. Okay. All right, and last but not least, the last week of the month, honey, y'all, the lover's card done showed up in our reading. Child, honey, as lovely T would say. Mm. Um, so let's see what this is about. Because you know me and them love readings, child. I'm not the one. Oh, well, Queen of Wands is somebody we feeling very, very passionate about. Very passionate about, could be a fire sign, could be an air sign. We also have the Knight of Crystals, so they're stable, and this could be a very stable uh, partnership relationship. The beginning of one. I'm not sensing that uh, this person is from your past, or from our past. Let the X stay the X, y'all. Uh, but this person is very stable. Just like we like them, honey. I can't. I can't do flighty. Um, but we're quite passionate about them, and they're quite passionate about us. Mm. You know, we want to put our little red dress on, y'all. But honey, listen. With the five of wands, don't start no mess. Okay, please, just like remember the page of cups. Have fun, Cancer. Can we just loosen up a little bit? And have a little fun. Even the mothers of the zodiac need to go out on a date and go dancing every now and again. Okay, so let's all let's make a pact right here and tell me down in those comments that you made a pact with me and we all going out and having a good time. We go take some pictures and post them. Okay, uh, post them on my uh, tag me in, on IG heart of in heart of insp all right guys cancer that's all i have for us for this month thank you so much for joining me if you wish to work with me in any way all the information is down below on my website spiritual coaching um energy work uh i.e reiki and such um readings and uh definitely do not forget to check out the website for the spiritual conference march 8th through the 10th have your face in the place right here in madison if you want like to have your gifts um really just kind of like blossom and come on out get reiki one attuned learn more about energy healing learn how to set up your business whether that's a spiritual practice or just a business business i have experience in both so let's get that done and let's propel you into your purpose uh, thank you so much. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Talk to you soon. Namaste. Bye-bye.